In Texas, we know what a winter storm can do to our power grid. And we know our AC costs money with our hot Texas summers, but how much of that utility bill is it exactly? More people in Texas are turning to more efficient and more affordable modern solutions like mini splits, and we wanted to put one of the newest models to the test under real Texas conditions. Hi there, I'm Colby Black, Vice President of Starlight Solar. We've got something really interesting lined up for you today with our EG4 Hybrid Solar Mini Split System connected directly to my backyard fence mounted solar solution. We want to see if the Hybrid Solar Mini Split can handle heating and cooling a big, open 1500 square foot area using only solar power with no grid connection. The plan is to start off at 65 degrees and see how warm it can make the house before we turn around and cool it all the way back down, if it can handle it. To get started, we're going to look into two homeowners' energy usage being monitored with current transformers on each lead inside their breaker box. This will give us an idea just how impactful a hybrid mini split can be for our home's heating and cooling costs. In the homes we've monitored, the air conditioning alone is making up a staggering 62% and 57% of the total utility bill. That's $150.59 in one home and $183.45 in another. And that's just for one month. Our EG4 Hybrid Solar Mini Split System is designed to drastically reduce these numbers by utilizing efficient solar power. As we walk you through these real-life examples, consider the potential savings for your household. Stay tuned to see the difference our system can make. Building on the eye-opening figures we just discussed, let's delve into a real-world application of our hybrid mini-split system. Early in the morning, when the house was at its coldest, the indoor temperature was 64 degrees. For this experiment, I set the thermostat to an ambitious 90 degrees and engaged turbo mode at 1.12 p.m. At this time, the solar system was generating about 700 watts. We'll monitor how efficiently the system heats the space. So these are the solar panels that are currently running the AC. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's obviously cloudy and I'm getting waves of strength. So as the clouds are thinner and more direct sunlight comes in and hits it, I hear the heater come on a lot stronger. Despite the cloudy conditions, the system responds dynamically. Initially, with 600 watts input, the heater operated on a low heat mode. However, as the clouds moved and allowed more direct sunlight, the solar input increased and the heater's turbo mode activated, providing stronger heat. All right, and I adjusted the air things right here. You can see that the air is good. This is what monitors everything. And I changed the display so it's gonna show the humidity and the temperature while I'm doing this test but this is a really cool thing. It allows you to see any uh, particulates that are really, really small floating in the air when your VOCs go up, radion, all kinds of stuff. But right now I'm gonna track humidity and temperature as we're running the test over here with the AC. All right, so it's two o'clock and we can see that we have significantly more power coming into the um, system at 75 degrees at the unit, 1800 watts coming in. So right about there is where I probably would have been happy. And that's where we're at. So this is with completely free heating. It's not even hooked up to the grid. And it can hit whatever temperatures you'd ever want in a house. All this is open concept, so it's got all that up there. It's got the whole office, everything up there, this entire space. And then you'll see what this temperature setting is actually registering 81 because it's a little bit more direct. After pushing the mini split to heat a large open space to 80 degrees, I wanted to turn around and cool it all the way back down to a comfortable 73 degrees showing complete temperature control of the inside of my home at both extremes. All right, I heard it shut off in here and we reached target temperature already. So we went all the way up to 81 degrees and then right back down to where we wanted it. We started off four hours ago at 65 degrees. We heated it up all the way to 
80 degrees um, 50 minutes ago. And then 50 minutes ago, I said, all right, let's get it back to where we really want it. So then I cooled it right back down to 72.9 degrees. So this is amazing technology using just solar panels. This would work on grid, off grid, doesn't matter what's going on with the power companies. I can always control the temperature in a 1500 square foot space with just this. This demonstration highlights the remarkable capacity of solar powered systems to regulate indoor temperatures effectively, illustrating their potential for both on grid and off grid applications. All I need. Sweet dreams are made of